good morning students today our topic is operating system as we know that operating system is a system software so we discuss operating system in detail in this lecture so let's start first of all what is an operating system as you know that uh, operating system is a software that manages the computer hardware and provides common services for execution of various application software for hardware functions such as input and output and memory allocation the operating system acts as an intermediary between application program and the computer hardware so we can see uh, we can simply say that operating system is nothing but only the interface between the hardware and the user or hardware and the application software because user interact with the user user use application software and application software interact uh, um, with hardware using operating system so that is the definition of an operating system so an operating system is a software that manages the computer hardware and provides common services for execution of various application software and an operating system sometimes abbreviated as os the program that after being initiated loaded into the computer by a boot program manages all other programs in a computer i i already explained the concept of the booting in our previous lecture so basically uh, after a um, boot process operating system execute all the instructions related to a related to a different uh, application softwares and uh, it gives it works as an intermediary intermediary between application programs and uh, hardware so different task are first of all let us see the diagram which gives you a clear idea about the operating system so three main blocks are there first of all the user then uh, application okay four blocks are there user application operating system and hardware and you can easily see that first of all user interact with application software application software sends command to hardware through operating system so we can say that operating system is nothing but only the interface between the user and the hardware without this you are not able to send command to the hardware if you want to save a data into your computer disk hard disk then uh, without operating system is it is not possible so operating system should be there so simple definition is operating system nothing but, but only the interface between the user and the hardware now the types of the operating system the first type of the operating system is batch operating system as the name suggests batch operating system so batch operating system is the operating system which analyzes your input and groups them into batches so data in each batch is a similar characteristic and then it performs operation in each indiv individual batches actually the batch operating system starts uh, in basically batch operating system uh, is used in early computer systems it is nowadays it is all, all it is essential part of the all operating systems but when the uh, same task of uh, same type of task are there then uh, we make a, a group of all these tasks and then after operating system execute this task in a single time so that is the basic concept of the batch operating system so batch operating system is nothing but only uh, in the concept in which uh, different uh, or similar jobs are considered as a job uh, as a single similar jobs are considered as a as a batch and that uh, batch is executed and that batch will be executed after that so in this type of the system there is no direct interaction between the user and the computer first of all no direct interaction between the user and the computer and the user had to submit a job and that is written on the cards or a tape um, to a computer operator then computer operator places a batch to a several job on a input device and then jobs are batched together by a type of language so 
these are the key key points related to a batch operating system and the in a special program is there and the program name is monitor and the monitor manages manages the execution of each program in the batch that is a very important point and the monitor is always in the main memory and available for execution so monitor is a main program which execute the which execute the execution which is responsible for the execution of each program in the batch now the next question arises which uh, arises in our mind that what are the advantage and disadvantage of a batch operating system and why we use batch operating system so first of all thing should be very clear batch operating system jobs have same requirement are grouped into a batch and then batch are executed and uh, they are not directly executed S batch is uh, basically jobs are given by the programmer to the user by the by the to the operator and then operator execute it and um, there is a program name monitor which is responsible for the execution of each program in a batch and uh, there are some advantages of ba simple batch system there is no interaction between the user and the computer first of all and no mechanism to provide the processes to no mechanism to prioritize the processes there is uh, no priority of uh, any process because uh, different process are formed in a in a group and the name of the group is batch we also known as the batch so within the batch there is no priority for a particular process or a program that is the diagram uh, you can easily see that uh, user program area is there inside the ram then second is real time operating system as the name suggests real time operating system so in this type of operating system the focus is about the execution of a program within a particular time period so that's the why they are called the real time operating system so real time systems are usually dedicated embedded system and an operating system does the following activities related to a real time a system activities first one is the main object of real time operating system is their quick and predict predictable response response to event and is the systems operating system typically read from and read to census data and the operating system must guarantee response to the event within the fixed period of time to ensure correct performance so they are time bounded operating system we can say that and uh, again there are two different types of categories of real time operating system these are hard real time operating system and soft real time operating system wait a second okay so hard real time system and soft real time system so hard real system system has the most significant requirement guaranteeing that real time task be completed within their deadlines and safety critical systems are typically hard real time system and second is soft real time system it is less restrictive simply providing that a critical real time task will receive priority over other task and that it will retain that priority until it is completed many commercial operating system as well as linux provide 
soft real time supports so there is no boundation of the real time system in soft uh, real time system uh, basically in hard real time system what happens that uh, if system response is within a given fails to response within a certain interval of time then the then uh, it is first of all it is not possible that a uh, system or operating system is uh, uh, not capable of uh, to a particular time but a particular task in a certain time period uh, as far as hard real time system is concerned but in soft real time system basically uh, operating system try to solve or try to priority and uh, try to give a priority to a particular task to do it within a to uh, solve the problem within a certain time period of time that is that's why it is called the soft real time systems and within the hard time real time system uh, it is a compulsory to execute a particular task within a certain time period so that is uh, that is why they are called a hard real time system so that is the basic difference between the hard real time system and the soft real time system and uh, next is okay so these are the types of hard real time system and uh, soft real time system next is single user operating system as the name suggests single user operating system so only one user can be supported at any point of time that's why they are called the single user operating system and there can be two subcategories of this operating system first of all single task operating system and uh, as far as single task operating system is concerned the operating system supports run single application at a time for operating system for mobiles such uh, mobiles and ms dos are the example of single user operating systems so only one user can be supported by it any any point of time and second is single user and multitasking operating system So single user operating system only one user can be supported by it at any point of time and uh, second is single task operating system this operating system supports single application at a single time so single user single task operating system and then single user multitasking operating system so single user is there but uh, he or she is capable of do more than one task at one time at one time so these are the different types of operating systems as you can see a single user multitasking operating system this operating system support one user but can deal with multiple applications running at the same time that is simultaneously we can um, run at same time word document a video or uh, we can you perform internet browsing or listening music so these type of tasks can be done at the same time by a single user then that's why it is called the single user multitasking operating system and then multi program operating system it supports multi programming that is more than one user can be supported by it and therefore more than one user programs are loaded and active in the main store in the same time so these programs are executed using some techniques one by one examples of such type of operating systems are unix and linux so these are the multi program operating system so multi program operating system basically support multi programming that means more than one user can be supported by it 
so therefore more than one user program are loaded and active in the main store at the same time they are called the multi program operating system examples are linux and unix next is a time sharing operating system so this operating system uses the time sharing techniques each active users program is given a fair share of cpu time if the time elapses or an input output operation is required cpu shift over the next job waiting and the previous program is put to wait or handed over the input output manager input output manager basically handle the input output operations and the active programs are scheduled for executing using certain job scheduling techniques so different job scheduling techniques are there which basically tells that which job is going to execute it first and which job is uh, going to execute it after that and examples of such type of operating systems are bsd unix and osve these are the some time sharing operating, operating systems So in time sharing operating system, time is shared between different processes. After that, and each process allot a certain period of time, and uh, process execute within that time period. If it is not executed within the time period, then uh, another process will be executed. And when a circle is complete, a cycle is complete, then first process will be executed again so time sharing operating systems basically share the time between different processes if there are 10 processes and uh, 10 seconds are there to execute all the processes then 10 seconds is shared to each process so there is a time of one second to each of the process to each process and uh, each process execute for one second and uh, for its execution it uh, complete execution it wait another nine seconds to complete a cycle and if it is completed within that time per period then that time is divided to all other process equally Next is multiprocessing operating system. So the multiprocessor operating system is capable of handling more than one processor as the job have to be executed on more than one processor. That's the name suggests multiprocessing operating system means more than one processor are there. So the multiprocessing operating system should be capable of should be capable of load sharing in case of identical processes processors so that the system efficiency improve in case of unidentical processors the multiprocessing operating system should be able to control the super or main processor and turn control okay wait a second So the multiprocessor operator should be able to control the super main processor and in turn control the working of slave processors. Examples include Unix and Linux. So in multiprocessing system operating system, two things should be very clear. First of all, there are more than one processor, and uh, if it may be possible that both both processor are of the same type or identical, but if they are identical then one is work as a main processor and other are uh, and second one is work as a slave processor so master slave relationship should be followed in this case so master processor gives the command to the slave process to execute the execute a different process and uh, multiprocessing operating systems uh, are example of multiprocessing operating systems are unix and linux
and the advantage of the multi processing operating system is that that the they are capable of handling more than one process processors as the job have to be executed on one or more than one processor so operating system gives for uh, commands to and uh, gives uh, so different process regarding the operating system will be executed in different processors using multi process operating system next is distributed operating system so this type of operating system is designed to share its work load over multiple servers mostly at multiple locations thus a distributed operating system has a decentralized architecture and a distributed operating system share data and resources among its multiple servers to get maximum efficiency so most reservation system use distributed operating system so basic thing is that in distributed operating system load is share over multiple servers at multiple locations that's why they are called the distributed operating system and uh, the distributed operating system has a decentralized uh, decentralized architecture also so there is no centralized architecture in case of distributed operating system now some examples of operating systems are also there first is boss that is bharat operating system solutions and it is a gnu linux distribution developed by cdac chennai in order to benefit the user in in order to benefit the users of free and open source software throughout the india and boss gnu linux is a key deliverable of nrcf os f4ws it means national resources center for free open source software and the boss uh, is uh, enhance the desktop environment integrating indian languages supported and other packages that are relevant for use in the indian government domain and boss makes it easier for the microsoft windows user to migrate to gnu linux platform by providing outstanding features for bulk document converter presentation tools and also features like plug and play and boss is customized for the is to use in the educational domains and variants are available to suit enterprise users so first of all boss is a bharat operating system solution second important thing it is a gnu linux based operating system third is it is developed by cdec chennai fourth important thing is that uh, it is used for and it is a free and open source software and it means it is freely available to all of you and source you can see the source code of it also open source software is there and uh, next important thing about uh, boss operating system is that it has enhanced desktop environment integrating indian languages support and other packages that are relevant for the user in the indian government domain so it is basically created to solve the problem to solve the problem or uh, to fit in the environment to fit in the indian environment next is solaris solaris uh, property software property means uh, we should pay the cost for that so it is a property unix operating system originally developed by the sun microsystems and uh, in it is supported the company's earlier sun operating system in 1993 in in 2010 after the sun 
a question by the oracle it was he named the oracle oracle surgeries so nowadays it is known as oracle surgeries and it is not a freeware it is a proprietary software next is linux linux is the name of a popular computer operating system linux is the name of the popular computer operating system and it is the most famous example of free software and open source development and it is not freely available but its uh, source code is available to all and anyone can freely openly use it modify it and redistribute it so linux is a part of the popular web server set of programs lamp means linux apache mysql and php so the most benefit by using as uh, linux is that we can freely open open freely o openly use it uh, we can also modify it and uh, redistribute it and it is a part of more popular web server of programs known as lamp means linux apache mysql and php next is windows operating system windows operating system so microsoft windows is the name of those several families of gui means graphical user interface basically operating system there are two basic category factor user interface or graphical user interface in character user interface uh, we give a command to the operating system by uh, type a by using different characters so that's why they are called the character user interface but in windows different icon symbols are there in gui different icons and symbols are there so windows is example of uh, gui that is graphical user interface by which we can interact with our operating system so microsoft first introduced an operating environment named windows in november 1985 in response to the growing interest in graphical user interfaces and microsoft windows come to, do, uh, to dominate the world's personal computers market overtaking mac operating system so first uh, so windows is the most popular gui graphical user interface operating system and uh, first version of the windows is came in number 1985 and it replaced the operate mac operating system which had been introduced previously which is also a gui graphical user interface operating system and the most recent client version of window is window 10 so window 10 is the latest version of window operating system next uh, mobile operating systems there are different mobile operating system also such as android i think all of you are familiar of this and android operating system is a linux based platform for mobile phones next is symbian then this is designed to the specific requirement for 2.5g and 3g mobile phones windows phones are also there so windows 7 and 8 are mobile operating system developed by the microsoft so window operating system is not only for pcs but it is also for mobile phones also apple operating system i think all of you are aware of this ios means uh, iphone operating system apple ios known as iphone operating system before june 2010 is apple's mobile operating system and it is exclusively for apple's smart devices like iphone ipad and ipad touch then blackberry rim blackberry operating system blackberry operating system used to all blackberry devices such as the such as the blackberry phone such as the blackberry phones and playbooks 
BlackBerry latest operating system called the QNX, which is set of set to replace the old BlackBerry operating system. So this is all about our today's lecture, in which we already discussed definitions of operating system and types of operating system. Thanks for watching this video.